Hi guys, let me show you how to use the Conix Made Easy app for the TI Inspire CAS. Um, it does not run on Inspire software on the computer, but only on handheld um, CAS Inspires. So let's look into some details. Um, there uh, are four Conix that uh, we can investigate here, parabola, hyperbola, circles, ellipse, and we can of course also complete the square. We can analyze a conic given, a conic equation, uh, or the if, a coefficients of an equation only, or even a polar equation. And we can also perform the rotation of axis, where you enter a conic equation, and uh, you can also read about the rotation equations. So let's start off with um, uh, some, let's say, a conic as a parabola. So we can enter the vertex of a parabola, say 1 and 2, and let the p-value be 2. So if you scroll up, you can see that we have here a parabola equation right here. Everything is, of, the, of course, done step by step for you. x minus 1 squared equals 4 times 2. 2, which is the p-value, y minus 2 squared. And then you expand both sides and bring all the terms to one side, and that will give you your quadratic, quadratic equation. I'm sorry. And um, yes, this is for a parabola that is located vertically, but if you are looking for a parabola that is uh, located horizontally, you would get this conic equation here in an expanded format down here. However, if you are given a quadratic equation like you normally are, you're going to use a conic analyzer and enter the equation such as x squared plus y squared equals 9. Everybody knows that makes a circle. Well, we can do our step-by-step -step analysis on this given equation. The discriminant turns out to be negative 4, which implies that our conic is a circle. So you get to see the circle equation. In our particular example, the center is 0, 0, radius is 3. So therefore, we have this circle equation, and we also give you more information, which is the eccentricity, the circumference, and the area of the conic at question here. So if you change it, x squared minus y squared, everything changes dramatically. All of a sudden we have a hyperbola. So this hyperbola opens to the left and right and has a vertex still 0, 0. And uh, the a and b factors are 3 each here. So rewritten, the hyperbola turns into this format here, equal to 1. Major axis, and you can do the full-blown, see, read the full-blown analysis. Major axis, minor axis, focus 1, focus 2, eccentricity, vertices, and asymptotes. So everything done here in detail, step by step for you. This is once you enter the entire equation, but you might as well just enter the coefficients of the equation, um, you still get the full analysis like we just did. Just the input differs. If you enter a polar equation, you can do the same analysis. Rotation of axis. Enter a polar equation such as x times y equals 1. And as you may know, the rotation of axis allows you to rotate your axis by, a degree, by an angle here of 45 degree, pi over 4, to eliminate the xy term. So once you use uh, the um, equations for x and y to modify, uh, to actually rotate the axis, um, we replace the x and the y by uh, what's given here in our two equations and simplify the math and you can see that our new equation is now x squared over 2 minus y squared over 2 minus 1 which does not contain an xy term anymore.
the xy term was eliminated. That's what the rotation of axis does. And down here you can actually change your font size. You can make it larger if you like. 16 so you don't have to squint your eyes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the Conics Made Easy app. It does everything step by step. You will always uh, get free upgrades for a lifetime. So this app and many more apps are available at tnspyapps.com for math and science. Thanks for watching.